Hey everybody, it's me, Mrs. Finner, and I'm going to walk you through um, your lyric poetry assignment. So I know that I'm not physically in the room with you maybe right now, but I did want to kind of explain this and what I'm looking for, and I'm really excited to see what you guys are going to come up with. So it states, lyric poetry, as we have discussed, is poetry that has two qualities. It works usually in first person, so using I, me, mine, mine, and it reveals the writer's thoughts, feelings, or ideas. And we've talked about this previously, but writers typically write best about things that they know about, topics or subjects. So today in class, we're going to craft a lyric poem about your identity, a topic you know best. Now, um, we've been working all week with identity as a motif or a big idea. We've also used a lot of um, essential questions. or We've discussed a lot of essential questions, too, with the word identity in it. So this is something that we've talked about a lot this week, right? Especially with all of our lyric poems that we've read. So I'm going to give you guys some structure, but I want you to have some freedom to play around and to move within the structure. So just check the rubric, and if you have the elements in the rubric, it doesn't really matter what order the elements are in. Um, I included some helpful notes and links. I'll go over those in a second with you. So step one, you want to brainstorm your ideas. So it's going to ask you about adjectives, metaphors, and similes. So I kind of helped you here. Um, just a quick review. Similes compare to unlike things using the words like or as, whereas metaphors compare to unlike things not using like or as. So some examples of a simile could be where we are like two peas in a pod. She is as sweet as pie. She sparkles like a diamond. Whereas a metaphor could be she is a fish. Um, they were tornadoes at recess. The snow was a blanket. So again, a simile uses like or as. In a metaphor, it's trickier, but you can use is, was, are, and were. So definitely check this formatting out for metaphors because, again, I think they're trickier to write in your work, but it's not too difficult. It's also going to ask you to, like for question one or four, this first brainstorming, it's going to ask you to list seven adjectives that describe yourself. So I gave you a list that I found online of 100 adjectives that describe attitude with characters. But again, you don't have to pick something just from this list. Um, you can pick really anything um, as long as you think that it describes you. I wanted to stay away from words of like, I am smart, I am kind, I am nice. Yes, I'm sure you are those things, but are those really seventh grade words? Probably not. So you just want to elevate our writing by being really intentional and picking really meaningful word choice with this assignment. So step one for brainstorming, you're going to list seven adjectives that describe yourself. Again, take time with this. I know you are nice and smart, but you want to dig deep and be specific. Be intentional with your word choice. Two, describe yourself in a metaphor. Again, look back to this to figure out what you would like to compare yourself to. Three, list five objects that you own that you like. Um, you're going to make these objects into people. What are these objects like? What do they do? How do they behave, right? Maybe if you really like your phone, you can describe that object as being like a really nerdy person because your phone um, has a lot of data, right? And it collects data. So I would see my phone as maybe like a nerdy kind of character. Who do you love? List three memories that you had and describe how you felt during those times. List two fears or worries that you have. List three accomplishments that you have. Use a simile to describe one of them. List four wishes or hopes you have, and then use a simile to describe one of them. So you can go really as, quote, deep um, and share as much as you'd like. The only person who's going to see this is me, and if you're in my co-talk class, Mrs. Oakley will see this too. Other than that, no one else will really see this. Um, if I do decide to share this, um, with a future class or post it on our student success board, I will ask permission. So it's really up to you how much you want to share. Um, step two, you're going to take all of your brainstorming ideas and you're going to shape them into a poem. So again, this is a possible structure, but for example, you could switch line two and line three. You could switch the order. Um, rearrange the lines to work for you. Again, be creative. So you want three adjectives that describe you, a metaphor that describes you, an important relationship. So maybe you are son of, you know, your father's name. Maybe you are a friend of this, right? So list an important relationship there. 
Maybe you are the grandchild of, the daughter of, maybe you are the niece or nephew of, so you can get creative. Line four, tell us about something you own again. How does it behave around you? Um, you can use personification here. So remember, personification gives human-like qualities to inanimate or um, to non-living objects. So a lot of the time this is used with weather. So you can say like the wind whistles through the trees. The wind isn't actually like making a whistling sound, right? It just sounds like that. The wind can't physically whistle. Five, tell us a memory as though you are telling us a one sentence story. Line six, tell us about a fear or worry you have. Line seven, tell us about an accomplishment. Use a simile here. And eight, tell us about a hope or wish. So really, as always, I want you to try to give effort. There is no reason for you to do nothing today. Like everybody should submit something. Even if you're not finished with it, you have unlimited attempts. You need to submit something. If you do not, um, that just shows me that you really don't care, right? This is quarter three. If you didn't do well, this is your time to turn it around. If you've been doing really well, keep it up. So um, this is really cool assignment. I'm so excited to read what you guys have. Um, I will be in the building. Um, so if you have questions, maybe I can pop in. Um, probably not, but I'll definitely be available via email. So enjoy, guys. Have a great day, and I'm really excited to read your writing.